hello and uh, welcome to another quick review video quick friday review um i do a lot of these these days on a friday i always put out a bit of review kns being good enough to send something out again um something different something a little bit different from me uh, i do like to have a look at these gadgets and i do like to try things out and this is definitely a newbie for me this is basically a digital trial a trail camera this is one of those night cameras yes yeah, cool isn't it an actual night camera so what can this thing do well it can uh, it's got a super wide angle of 20 meter detects ir sensor fantastic uh, it's got a triple pir speed uh, speed up camera wake up i don't know it does all sorts of things basically what it does is it takes photographs at night in the dark it's an infrared sort of camera um, so it can see things at the night. It's got a six month standby time. So you can leave it running for six months, put it in a field, strap it to a tree and leave it on standby running for six months. How cool is that? It's water resistant to an IP56. Uh, it's a 1080p um, video camera. So it'll do a 1080p videos, which is great for what I use it for. Um, don't need anything bigger. And it also takes stills as well. You can get a 24 megapixel still out of it, which is pretty good. There are other different sizes as well, but a 24 megapixel still and a 1080p video. It's got 120 degree PIR. So that means it's a widespread PIR. And uh, it's also got a 20 meter trigger. So it should trigger it from 20 meters away. Now, what is it you ask yourselves? Well, I wonder what they were and this is basically what it is this is what it is it's a night camera like I say with these PIRs and a digital camera on the front it's got sensors on it so it can pick movement up in the dark now I have tried this at home a few times um, I put it in a garden and I've managed to get a cat I'll put the video up for you in the corner I managed to get a cat coming in the garden so I put it out again the next night I got a different cat coming in the garden so I thought what I'd do I'll try aiming it up the driveway see if I can get the cats coming down the driveway in the middle of the night and what you do basically you set the parameter time so this is set to go off between 11 o'clock at night till 4 o'clock in the morning so that's when it starts detecting um, I've just changed it to 10 o'clock so 10 o'clock tonight till 1, 4 o'clock in the morning it's going to detect for me and the reason I'm telling you this is I'm out in the countryside. Over the back there is Anglesey. You can see Anglesey and the estuary. And round this side, oh, come with me. Come with me, come with me. <laughs> right, so round this side, you've got the mountain range and Snowden and stuff like that. So I'm hoping that I can strap this to a tree somewhere um, or a post. Now, what I have done, it comes with this little clamp on the bottom it comes with a little tiny clamp there that you can arrange around and a little plate that you can screw it to a fence or something like that it also comes with a strap i'm going to come back around this way so follow me back around here also comes with a strap like so that you can strap it around to a tree you can actually loop it through the loops and strap it around a tree there's a post just over by the road there so i'm going to strap it to the post and it also comes with a remote control as well uh, which is pretty cool to come with a remote control as a van just gone past i'm just being nosy where he's going big off-roader uh, yes yeah, so it comes with a remote control so you can stand and leave it and press the remotes as and when you want to start and stop it but what I'm going to do I'm going to take this strap and I'm going to take it over to that post and I'm going to strap it to the post once it gets a little bit darker and I'm going to leave it pointing towards the van now if anything comes past that vehicle you know anything comes past my vehicle tonight or around my vehicle whether it's a rabbit a badger uh, a fox or even a car or people walking past it should switch on and I'm going to carry this video on tomorrow morning and let you know what it detects and what it finds chances are it'll probably find nothing unless nothing comes around and uh, it's a bit of a wasted video this is one of those gadgets where i can't show you what's going to happen until it actually happens um so yeah i'll put the pictures of me cat up if nothing else and uh, yeah let's see what happens i'm going to strap it to the post and uh, fingers crossed we will get something tonight you never know so here's my post i'm going to get my feet wet now stepping in the water but I've got my strap on the back, like so. And I'm just going to loop that on. And this is a definite interesting kind of camera. And uh, like I say, it's photographic based. So hopefully you don't mind me showing you. But I've always wanted to play with one of these little things. You see them on the TV all the time, don't you? So let's take that off the bottom because it's shiny. We don't want anything shiny sticking out because people will spot it so I put that in my pocket stick it on the post strap it on like so let's face it that way a bit 
strap it on like so lock it on there it is now on the post i can even strap it through again can't i to make sure let's stick it through the back again it's not going to go round is it so let's strap that round wrap it round like that and tuck it in there it's bound to be wet by the morning there we go and then we all we've got to do then is turn it on so we flick it to on and there it is in on mode counting down and there we go all set for tonight i just want to tuck the strap up so the strap's not flapping around and causing people to have a look and be nosy and what's going on because it should be a stealth camera there we go one stealth camera fitted to the post all we've got to do now is leave it and see if we get anything tonight i hope so So it's morning time and uh, let's just take my towel down because it's probably distracting you. Um, yeah, it's morning time so I'm about to switch it on. So you open the plastic cover, the waterproof cover on the front and uh, we switch it on and it should come alive like so. And uh, then we just press the mode button and we see if we get anything from last night. Oh, the van, there's a picture of the van. so. It says 15 seconds play, so let's press OK and see if we can play that. Can't see anything moving at the moment. There might have been a car by the looks of it because it's shot off quite quick. Right, so let's go to the next one. So we just have one. So there's just one to play and I can't see anything actually moving. But something must have set it off. So I'll have a look on the big screen and uh, <laughs> find out if there's anything on there. But it's definitely a picture of my van, so it did switch itself on. So we'll see. If not, I'll try it again tonight and I'll put a little bit of footage up for you at some point. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, check them out. I'll leave the link in the description. Really good little idea. Love the idea of being able to film everything around the van uh, when I'm out and about. So um, yeah. <laughs> Till next time, ciao for now. Don't forget to check out some of my other reviews uh, for different stuff. But thanks to KNF for this. Um, really, really cool. Gadgets. Can't beat a good gadget. Bye.